Hey everyone, this is 1981 Error Lincoln Sand recently purchased for Coinas collection. A penny struck by eroded die, with die flows on reverse, about which I'm going to talk about a little later. Coin is at fine condition by Sheldon Scales. Strong mint softness is evident on bust of Abraham Lincoln. Strikers very poor. There are numerous abrasions and bag marks on the fields, also on device. Most eye-catching one is this slanting bag mark near the forehead. As you can see, coin displays very pleasant golden peach toning with some fadings around the letterings and selected areas of Lincoln profile. When we turn it over, we observe strong traces of dye deterioration. Most elements of memorial are completely flat due to dye erosion. E pluribus unum is not completely struck, missing E, when the dye reaches the end of its usual life. The molecular structure of the metal alloy it's made of begins to alter. After striking several thousand coins, the dye begins to deform and lose its original molecular properties. In some cases, a worn dye may show an orange peel deterioration, and therefore it will be possible to notice on the coin produced by this minting a porous surface is directly proportional to degree of deterioration. On initials of reverse engraver FG, we see dye flow towards the east, another trace of faulty dye. Nevertheless, it's not that rare errors. Over 7.4 billion examples of 1981 P. Lincoln cents were struck for circulation, therefore just about anyone should be able to find an example of circulation very easily. In brilliant uncirculated condition, it should also be very easy to find examples up to MS66 condition. In MS67 condition or higher, they began to be very scarce. Today at Minsta 68, 1981 pennies are worth over $5,000, with only 5 examples certified by PCJ so far. Record-breaking sale for current regular strike issue was realized at eBay. This MS68 red graded gem inside NGC slab was sold for $3,000 in an online auction. And this is very unique and expensive error penny, 1981 Lincoln cent with a worst die cap, struck on a nickel planchet. Die caps occur when a struck coin fails to eject from the press and successive strikes on new planchet warp the original coin around one of die faces, resulting in a uniface cap with design of the cap die struck in the depths of cylinder. Die caps are often seen from latter Lincoln cent issues and occasionally appear also from other denominations, but virtually every instance of such an error involves a die cap produced with planchet of the same denomination as the die sometimes bonded with other planches of the same denomination. The present piece, however, is a die cap formed by a nickel planchet on a scent die, making this a double error of sorts, a die cap and wrong planchet. Sold on April 15, 2021 for $5,820. That's all folks, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Have a nice day.